Hi everyone, I'm going to do a tutorial and review on these Joyo clip-on tuners. They're going for like six bucks on Amazon, you really can't beat that price. They're all pretty similar in function, so I'll just go over the... Hi everyone, I've got a Joyo tuner on my ukulele here, out of tune. And I'm going to show you real quick uh, how to get it in tune with it. This video is for those who have experience with how to tune their instrument whether it's a guitar or ukulele. So first of all, we have to put the battery in. It's a CR2032 if you need to put a new one in. So you have to slide the cover up and off, and then you're gonna put the battery in with the wording facing up. Put the cover back on. Some of them come with a screw. Uh, I, it fits pretty good, so I'm gonna just not worry about it. To turn it on, it only has one button, so you just press it down and hold. And then I apologize, this, no matter what I do, I can't get it to be in focus. Uh, so I'll tell you what these numbers are. Down at the bottom, there's different letters. Like right now, this one reads a G, which stands for guitar. So I'll just toggle through. That one is B for bass, B for violin, UC for standard uh, ukulele tuning, and UD for old time ukulele tuning. I really don't use any of these modes because I just, I'd want to know what exactly the note is that my string is. And so I will ta um, toggle one more time, and over there, that says C, even though you can't read it. And this will tell you the exact note, so you have to know what the chromatic scale is to use it. So clamp that onto your headstock, and you'll notice that there is a little pointer right over there. And when I hit the string, it moves. And if it's to the right, like that was, that means you're sharp of what that note said. If it's to the left of the middle, that means it's flat. So we're going to tune the fourth string, which is a G. Follow that to the right tuner. Go ahead and pluck the string. And it says F, so that is flat. So that means I have to turn the tuning key counterclockwise to tighten it. So right now I'm at F. Keep tightening, now it's F sharp. I have to hit G, so I just keep going there I'm close. It's a little flat because it's to the left. Tighten and I got the green, so that's in tune. Go to the third string, follow it up to the right tuning key, and this is a C note. Pluck the string and it says E. That means I'm sharp. So I have to loosen the string. This time I'm gonna turn the tuner clockwise to loosen the string. So I'm at a D sharp now, D, C sharp, close to the C, it says C, it's still a little sharp, loosen, green light. So we go next to the second string which is an E note, fall to the right tuner and because these are on the other side of the stock head um, they're wound opposite directions, so our way to tighten and loosen is going to be opposite direction of the other two strings that we just did. So I hit the string, that says F sharp, that means I am sharp. So I have to loosen it this time, I can follow the righty tighty lefty loosey rule. So as I hit it, I'm going to go to the left to loosen it, or counterclockwise. It's in an F now. I needed to get to E. Keep loosening it. Almost there. Green light. Okay, now I'm going to go to the first string, which is closest to the floor. That's an A note. Again, think righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. I hit the string. That's an F sharp. So that's way flat. I have to tighten that by going righty, tighty. So that means I'm going to be going clockwise. I'm in a G, keep tightening it, G sharp, almost there, there, there we go. So, so to play it now, it's a little bit out of tune because I've tightened and loosened certain strings, so I would just go back and fine tune it. After I would do that, I'm sure it would be in very good tune, especially for us non-professional musicians, these tuners do a good job. 
If you didn't understand, you're not able to get it in tune even with this video, I do have others that have more detail for beginners and to help understand that chromatic scale. I'll list the links in the description for you. Thanks for watching. Get tuned up and I'll see you in the next video.